Today we're going to learn how to track our goals against using a chart I created. You can find the chart on goaliesunderreview.com backslash GA chart as in goals against chart. Once you get there, you'll click the image and it'll bring you to the PDF form. You can fill this chart out right here as well as you can download it to fill out later. Um, when you're offline, you can print it out and fill the form out by hand. You can also use your phone um, to fill out the form online, and we'll go through that as we go. Print it out. So we're about to look at the first goal. The first thing I like to do is pause the clip right when I get to it and begin filling out my form. Things like name, who you're playing, the date, um, even even strength. The stuff can be filled out beforehand. So before I even start watching the goal, I'm going to fill in a couple of those things. Um, here you'll see strength and attack or radio buttons. So as you click them, they'll switch. I know it's even strength. I know it's in zone. Here comes the goal. I like to pause it right there. Stop. The goalie was too deep in his crease. Now, number five is the reasons for the goal. So go ahead and click any that apply, as many as you can. This goal was a one-timer. It was also affected by a wraparound and a pass from below the goal line. Now, one thing that I noticed is he turned his head too early. So we're going to click there, wrap, other. His head came too early. He lost sight of the puck. You can fill in anything you want here. Um, obviously, sometimes it won't fit. On the next form, there'll be a little more space for you to fill it out just to keep little notes on what you see. Now, last couple ones here. What hand is the shooter? Where did he score from? He scored right in the crease. And this I'm going to call an open net because it wasn't because of a goalie's reaction. Um, the puck just went in on the side of you. Sometimes on one-timers and passes, uh, the puck just ends up going in an empty net. It's not really based on where you were. Now, this last section, number 9, 10, 11, and 12, it was a pass. So, once again, we'll use the same diagrams. Where did the pass come from? And the goalie's movement during the pass. He just dropped. Puck goes in. Now, here it is, saving. I like to click print and save as a PDF. So, once again, that's print, save as a PDF. After you finish saving, um, you can just refresh the screen. and It'll give you a brand new sheet. Once again, we enter in our information before we get started. Give ourselves a head start on any of the information we know. Okay. Then we come back. We watch the clip. Guy gets a breakaway, makes his move, scores. Push pause right there. Where did he shoot from? Okay. And we know it's even strength. We know it was a breakaway. He was a little deep in his crease. Um, it was a wrist shot as well as a deke. Hey, these are all personal objectives. Whatever you think it may be, go ahead and click it. We're looking for trends throughout the flow. Okay? So he was a left-handed guy on a breakaway. He scored from just outside the crease. So we have our numbers there. Right above the numbers, you'll see the diagrams that correlate to them as well. Where the puck entered the net. Now this one is a high blocker shot. He pulled it to the side, put it up over the blocker. Okay. We're not going to fill in 9 through 13 because there was no pass and there was no rebound. That form's done. Save it, and we're on to the next one. Now I'm going to show you how to do it my old, the old-fashioned way, my favorite way. Printing out the sheet and filling it by hand so you can watch the game and control it. Um, and you don't have to worry about clicking through or messing with electronics. You know, you can see my sheet. I already have it filled out. And here comes the clip. It's a three on two, drives wide, a rebound goal right there. We push pause. Let's see where Zykov is. Okay, first thing we know is it's an odd man rush. It was a three on two. We can always go back and watch it again if need be. Zykov was deep in his crease. He was also forced to be deep by his play. Now, what do we got here? Reasons. Go through. Do they apply? You can go by one by one. Okay. It was a walk out from the corner. The guy drove a defense from wide and was walking out towards the net. Now there was also a rebound involved in that play. A okay. couple reasons and away we go. Now I started to fill it in here and I'll show you as we go. I forgot to move the camera. Um, but you can see the puck entered the net here. He went low blocker. We'll go back. The guy who scored the rebound was a left-handed shot. 
and he took that shot from the slot. Now we're getting into the rebound. So now we'll have to fill out 9 through 13 again. So where did the original shot come from? It came from the low corner. Uh, I believe that's number 7. Okay. The rebound was uncontrollable. Um, his rebound recovery, he stayed still. The last option for you to use is doing it on your phone. If you're going to be doing it on your phone, I recommend Adobe Acrobat Reader. You can get it in the App Store, it's free. It allows you to fill out the PDF online. So your next step after downloading the reader, go back to the internet and go to goaliesunderreview.com backslash goals against chart, GA chart. And you click on that big photo. It's going to pull up. Now here's the tricky part. You need to click it and download, open it. Nope, took too long. Click it, open in. Now I'm looking for my PDF reader, which is right there, Adobe Acrobat. Okay, now it pulls us into Adobe Acrobat. Let's go ahead and zoom in so everybody can see what we're doing here. Okay, let's fill out what we know. Goalie. Uh, Zeitkoff from the Kings. Okay. Playing the wings. And once again, date of the game, January 5th, 2017. Now, let's go back to the goal and let's see what we can figure out. We know it's going to be even strength. Now, here with these buttons, these first two are radio buttons, so once you click it, it'll change because it can never be both at the same time. Okay, so we got even strength. Um, this one I know is going to be an end zone goal. Most of the time you're going to know what it will be. Okay. Now let's have a watch and figure out his position and figure out why the goal went in. And we'll stop it. He was at the top of the crease. Great push, great position, um, just a bad read and allowed that guy to go five hole. So he did get a clear look. It was a wrist shot on a pass to the slot. And um, let's see, the other options here. It was a left-handed shot. And he scored it from the high slot. It was a little off center, um, but a nice goal from the high slot. So we'll enter in number three. On to the next puck, went five hole. Instead of dropping into that nice solid butterfly, got a bad read, thought the guy was going high. Um, once again, if you ever forget, you can always look back at these two diagrams and figure out where the play was. You can always pause and rewatch as many times as necessary. Okay. Last options we can choose through, it was a pass. So we look up here, where'd the pass come from? The left board's number five. Rebound only, rebound only. Last one, he moved on his feet before dropping into that butterfly. Now we're gonna move on to the final step, entering all of our data into the database. The first thing you're gonna do is go to goaliesunderreview.com backslash GA form. The first one was GA chart. This one is GA form. So when you get to the page, you're gonna scroll down just a touch and you're going to start filling in your information. So, Zeitkoff. Okay. Now, here's a tricky one. We're going to do birth year. I will say he's at 85. And he plays in the NHL. Okay. He plays adult hockey in the NHL. Okay, you guys will fill it out a little differently. You see my cheat sheet there. You're an 03 and you play PBA. The team that you play for, he plays for the big kings, not the little kings. Okay. Opponent, wings, date, 1, 5, 17. Okay, now we're going to use our answers. I'm going to use the sheet I did on the printout because I believe it's the easiest for transferring the data. It was an even play. It was an odd man rush. Okay. Positioning deep in the crease. 
Now here we go, we go through that checkbox again. The two things that I have checked for this goal were a rebound and a walkout. Okay, this is the third goal if you guys were keeping track at home. Okay, shooter was a lefty. He scored it from the slot. Where did the puck enter the net? These are all straight, straight forward answers. Now here comes the tricky part. Was the goal caused by a rebound or a pass? Yes, this goal was. It was caused by a rebound. So we click there. If it was just a clear shot like the breakaway we saw, you just click goalie was set on shooter. Okay, so now that'll take us to the rebound portion. Now you see at the bottom of the sheet, there's two questions that say rebound only. And one is for both. Um, is where the shot or the pass come from is from both. So it came from that left corner. Right? Could you prevent the rebound? This rebound was uncontrollable. And what happened? Did he move? Did he scramble? Did he slide? He stayed still flat on his goal line and gave that NHL shooter way too much room to put it in the back of the net. Okay, click submit. Your goals against has been recorded. Um, when you get to record a couple goals, I'll be sending you the entered data as well as your coaches some of the entered data. And this is what one of the sheets looks like. Okay? So it'll come into here. I've reviewed one game, 37 shots, 30 saves. Um, this kind of information is based on you. So if you send me this information, I can fill it in. But here's the big breakdown. The game that I did was um, one of our Junior Kings last season, and he gave up four goals low blocker. If this becomes a trend, we know that we're going to have to start working on those low blocker saves. Now, the reasons why the goals were scored was it cross-crease passes on two of them, rebounds, deeks. Um, as we enter in this information, we'll be able to break it down, send it back to our coaches as well as our goalies, and really start to track and make ourselves better. I hope you guys learned how to fill it out. If you have any questions, please go ahead and contact me. And once we start to get some of this data in, we'll have some bona fide numbers that we can come back at you with. Thank you for watching and have a great day.